Hi, my name's Mick and I'm a sound designer. Uh, a few years ago, Santa Regione, an Italian indie game studio, asked if I want to provide some sounds for a game that they were making. The game was called Saturnalia, and it's a horror game where um, a strange creature haunts the streets and tight alleyways of a Sardinian town set during the 80s. Santa Regione had populated the game already with a lot of placeholders which filled out much of the soundscape, but got me involved for a couple of weeks to help them better craft the atmosphere that they wanted. Alongside my involvement they also teamed up with another sound designer David, who provided the creature sounds, and Niccolo who did the theme music. So my focus was the ambience as well as some of the UI and conversation systems. To give the presentation a, a dusty and unsteady feeling that suited the 80s period, I wanted the whole thing to feel a bit like a worn out cassette. To achieve this I got out my trusty uh, four track recorder along with ambiences I had recorded previously in Malta and I started processing tape loops. There wasn't a lot of time and resource to go super detailed for these sounds so I opted to take a minimalist and impressionistic approach. I really leaned into the tape imperfections, all the hiss, saturation and imperfect loop points you get with this old analogue technology. I wanted the town to feel empty, so everyone here had shut themselves away and the street should feel like eerily silent. The absence of sound and music during exploration I think works quite well contrasted against David's creature sounds which are loud and expressive. Another inspiration was Silent Hill 2, where for the most part all you hear are the rhythmically mechanical lo-fi footsteps of the era set against the more sophisticated drones and textures from the composer. Its simplicity is, I think, what gives it an uncanny feeling. Perhaps for the player, if the audio presentation is so minimal, it feels like there's less places to hide, and it kind of shrinks the play space, making it feel more claustrophobic. There's a few landmark areas with their own sounds, such as the altar, as well as a few other areas that we felt needed their own feeling. Uh, a lot of the exploration sounds are kind of randomised, and um, some of the ambiences uh, sound quite musical and tonal in places, uh, which I feel the game could use more of. Another thing to note is that some of the soundscapes like this are made up of uh, some traditional Sardinian folk instruments, which also found their way into the creature sounds from David. For the clue menu I used vocal sounds. It's supposed to kind of represent an inner monologue. Uh, you get these little kind of vocal whispers which um, feel like kind of echoes of thoughts. For the conversation system, uh, Pietro, the game director, wanted it to feel like the characters were whispering to each other. Um, the studio at one point had recorded some test video, which I used and cut into tiny little snippets, and I surrounded it with deeper sounds, which were recorded at high saturation into tape, so they sound very kind of like broken and kind of distorted, which I then uh, filtered and bit reduced later on. So yeah, that basically covers my involvement on the project. Um, I did a few other little bits and pieces, but um, it was really kind of a collaborative effort. And while I think it's maybe not as detailed or as technically sophisticated as it could be, I do think that what is here does carry a lot of character, and um, I think it sounds quite distinct. Cheers. Thanks for watching.